Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, all, glad you all could come back to hear the scripture reading, and I hope you're not just hearers, that you are doers. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you, because it is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up, glory be to God. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Hope you all are saved and have given your life to Christ, Christ Jesus. I hope that you're reading his word daily, that you're reading God's word daily, the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father and seeking his face daily. The Lord says, seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all other things will be added there too. I hope you're seeking him. I hope you have that personal relationship with him. Hallelujah. Father has no respect to persons. He loves us all. Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, not for some, not for one, but for us all. So I plead, I pray. I plead with you. Please give your life to Christ if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Only Jesus died for our sins, not not any other. And Father's hand is still outstretched. What are you waiting for? You done tried everything else. Try God. He is so good. He is so great. And he's greatly to be praised. He loves you. Okay? He's our Father. He created us. He said we're fearfully and wonderfully made. What more could you ask for? And he wakes you up every day. And we have an advocate in Jesus Christ. When we do it wrong, when we do something wrong, we have the opportunity to go back and repent and get it right. That doesn't mean you sin on purpose. Of course not. With that being said, please give your life to Christ Jesus before it's too late. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask. And uh, I always say the truth because I love you. And Father God loves you more. With that being said, today... We're on Psalm 140, a prayer for the Lord's help. And before we read that, we'll say a prayer for children of all ages. Glory be to God. And I hope you have daily repentance as well. Giving Father thanks for any and all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for everything. Thank you for watching over us, protecting us, providing for us, Lord God. And giving us parents that love us. And Lord God, teaching us how to love others and treat others the way we want to be treated. With love and respect. We love you, my Father. And Father, we pray for all to give their lives to you. So they can live a holy life and be happy. We love you, Father God. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Psalm 140, a prayer for the Lord's help. Rescue me from cruel and violent enemies, Lord. They think of evil plans and always cause trouble. Their words bite deep like the poisonous fangs of a snake. Protect me, Lord, from cruel and brutal enemies who want to destroy me. Those proud people have hidden traps and nets to catch me as I walk. You, Lord, are my God. Please listen to my prayer. You have the power to save me, and you keep me safe in every battle. Don't let the wicked succeed in what, in doing what they want, or else they might never stop planning evil. They have me surrounded, but make them the victims of their own vicious lies. Dump flaming coals on them and throw them into pits where they can't climb out. Chase those cruel liars away. Let trouble hunt them down. Our Lord, I don't... Our Lord, I know, excuse me, that you defend the homeless and see that the poor are given justice. Your people will praise you and will live with you because they do right. Amen. Hallelujah. That's good. That's beautiful. Tomorrow, God's willing, we'll be on Psalm 141, a prayer for the Lord's protection. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God, who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. And remember, treat others the way you want to be treated, with love and respect. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is not up for discussion. It is not up for debate. That is something we all must do. Please do it. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and that's why I tell you the truth, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest and oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.